Well, listen, it's a team game, but individually these players, you know, obviously enjoy, you know, having a certain level of success and that, you know, if, if the individuals are having success, it breeds team success and vice versa. So I'm happy for all those guys. They're, you know, Kretsch and Krug have been great Bruins for a number of years, backs, uh, not as long as those guys, but a great NHL player for a long time. So and it's nice to see, um, see them healthy. You know, Kretsch looks good this year and, um, you know, we've had a few hiccups in the past. Uh, it's, it's setbacks, but this year he's been good. Uh, backs as well now. As you see his skating legs, particularly the last uh, three, four weeks, I think he's been a much more efficient player for us. Krug's always been productive. Uh, it's a tough start for him in terms of his injury, but I think their health, you know, if those players can stay healthy, they've proven they're good players in the league, so I don't see that changing as long as, like I said, they can, you know, stay out of the, the medical room. Well, we're listen. We're assuming Bergie's he's very close. We know that uh, whether it's tomorrow, uh, sorry, Saturday or Sunday or next week, we don't know. But let's say it is, then you know that we're going to have to look at the you know do we want to upset all the lines maybe to to balance it out or just want to you know drop Bergie back in there and move Crutch without DeBrus being in the mix. Um, you know, I'm a little more reticent to just move Kretsch out of there and keep those three together. But that's something we'll have to look and see how Drake, Jake's progressing for one. Uh, so it's a lot of ifs. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be tough. Uh, but a very welcome decision to have Bergie back in there. Like I said, I, 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 he can't lose, right? That's the way I look at it. Whoever we put in there, whether it's Kretsch or Bergie, we're, you know, we're a better team for it. Uh, you know, whatever whatever center gets, you know, onto the moved on to the next line. Well, I'm I'm sure he'd prefer a normal training camp and a normal time to get going, but that's kind of, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you know, he's adjusted well. It took him a little bit of a while to find his shooting stride. You're starting to see him score more because of his decisions to shoot the puck in certain spots. Um, some of that is just the game comes around you when you're a good player. The puck finds you a little more. It's crutched the same way. Obviously, playing with those two guys, it does find you more. But uh, Marshy at the start of the year, um, same thing. I think, you know, I was looking to pass more and all of a sudden the puck finds you in the right spot. So those good players generally, it will, it'll balance out. That's happened with Tory in the offense. So the, the defending part, that's all on, usually on the player makes that decision how hard they want to defend. That's something that that's, that's usually will and compete. And uh, we've played him with Carlo and he's playing usually against the second line in general. So he's done a good job for us there. And, um, you know, until we get back to a full boat, that's kind of the ask for him and we'll see how it plays out. Uh, defensively, for sure. Uh, I think we're working hard for one another to support one another in terms of our routes, forechecking, neutral zone, working to get back above the puck. Uh, we've had stretches where we've obviously played well. Uh, but yes, I think team defense-wise, you look at the last two games, of course, Yarrow's there for us making saves, but I think they're both, you know, we're almost another shutout. I think that you could put those under the team category. Sometimes the goalie, hey, he's just not going to be beat that night. Um, but in general, I think the last two games, we've really worked hard for our goaltender to limit uh, the chances. There's always going to be a breakdown here or there uh, where you need the big save. We got that in the second period, I think, in the PK. Um, so good for, for Yarrow. But yes, defensively, we seem to have found our stride. Well, they're a good defensive team. You know, Mike, they, they, they clog it up, and they, they defend hard in front of their net. Uh, obviously, our power play made a difference, um, and that matters. I mean, that's a big part of our offense and has been all year, fairly consistent. We'll have the odd dip, but for the most part, they'll, they'll, they'll bounce back. Uh, five on five, we've defended real well. We just had some issues scoring goals five on five, and hopefully we, you know, we get better and better. Uh, sometimes it's you generate and it doesn't go in. That happened, I think, in Pittsburgh. It did go in, but not enough. Uh, tonight, we didn't generate as much. I give some credit to Anaheim for that. They play a pretty tight game. Um, and their goaltender was good when he needed to be. But I, I see it coming around. Got four in Montreal, three, three in Pittsburgh, three tonight. Um, a little more uh, um, optimistic in, in, in that regard, especially the last two, three weeks. <laughs>
Yeah, he's been he was good in the bumper last year with through Riley Nash in there. I think it's a coveted spot, so to speak. I mean, you're going to see pucks. There's a lot of ozone time. Those guys zip it around. Usually, you know, you're going to find a puck here or there. Uh, so, yeah, it is a good spot. But that's, you know, listen, when Bergie's back in the lineup. He's going in there. I mean, he he's, he's very good at it. Uh, but it does it, – I think it's given back some confidence that hopefully no matter, you know, when Bergie comes back that he's – He's still going to be a confident player offensively, and you know maybe we, you know, re reconfigure the second unit a little bit so we use a little more of, you know, his talents in that one. That's something we'd have to consider. Hey, two more questions with regard to you've always considered the possibility of moving uh, with a full lineup, moving possibly down to the David's line. Is that in the mix now when Patrice comes back? Possibly you go with that with your two leverage pairings. Um, yes, again. Jake always factors into that, um, and without getting ahead of myself, because yes, you know we, we could go in pairs then. Bergie Marsh, Pasta David, um, you know where Jake goes from there if he's in fact playing. But that's where the problems come in. If you if you split them up now, the third line and we've tried, tried to keep those kids together. They're going to have to something's going to have to give on the other lines, and but. That's a good problem to have, like I said before, because, you know, listen, we want Bergie in the lineup, we want Crutch in the lineup. That's our 1A and 1B up the middle. So um, we'll sort it out from there, which kind of we've done all year is just kind of see, see what fits best. And we're getting to the point where I think we have to look at it. We've talked about as we get healthier and our lineup's complete, where we're kind of sort of seeing, I think it's going to be till after Christmas, obviously, that we get everyone back, but it's, it's coming.